Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll talk Bulldog hockey, we'll check in with men's and women's basketball and all three teams coming off big wins at home this past Saturday. First up Bulldog hockey, head coach Bob Daniels and coach welcome again back to the show. Yeah, good to be here Rob. Bulldogs uh, a bit busy weekend uh, here in Big Rapids, final CCHA uh, regular season home series against Bowling Green State and you lose a, a heartbreaker on Friday night in overtime, but you come back in a big win on Saturday to, to close out the final chapter here in the CCHA. Yeah, it was the final weekend of CCHA regular season play uh, at, at Ava Glavin Ice Arena. And with it comes a little bit of a bittersweet feeling. Um, you know, it's we it's been a great 30 plus year association between Ferris State and, and the CCHA. And we certainly have gained a lot with our relationship. I mean, they really allowed us to feel the team and to be immediately um, uh, recognized as, as uh, one of the better uh, schools and one of the better conferences uh, in college hockey. And I think we've added a lot to the CCHA and we've done our part to be good members as well. And although it's disappointing that that, that chapter comes to a close, the exciting thing is we're going to join the new WCHA next year and that's a league with 75 plus years of, uh, of great hockey playing. So we're going to fit right in there and look forward to that association moving forward. Coach, uh, this week uh, you have a bye week. Uh, you're out of this weekend, but you come back and play Michigan in the, the final weekend of regular season play, March 1st and 2nd, down in Ann Arbor. Uh, just talk about where you're at as the postseason draws near and what type of an impact these last two weekends are going to have on the on the playoff seeding. Sure. Well, it, it, I mean, for us, it's tough sitting out this week, and we need to, though. We need a break. We need to get a lot of guys healthy, but it's going to be hard. We're going to have to sit now and why other teams uh, continue to play and, and, and move on us. Now, uh, you know, ideally between now and the end, we, we, we'll, we'll need to find a way to get three more points to pretty much secure a, a, a top five finish uh, and, and uh, a first round bye. And, you know, if we get that, Rob, we'd be in the last five years since we went to this new format, only two teams would have gotten a bye uh, in the first round each one of those years and it's us in Miami. So, you know, we've had a good run here. Uh, we want to get that by. Uh, we, 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 we we need that too again because all the rest we can get right now the better. And not all you know, in other years I haven't felt that way, but this year with the, the number of injuries we've had, that the more rest we can get right now to get guys healthy and back in the lineup, the better we're going to be. We'll go to the highlights of Friday's game against Bowling Green, and it seems like uh, you've played Bowling Green so many times. Uh, the two teams certainly know each other very well. Right, we really have between playoffs and all the other things. Like last year, six times. This year, four. That's ten times in two years. Uh, and you know what? Uh, this week we we win one, we lose one, but that gives us a three and one record against Bowling Green this season. And they're a good team. Like coming in, we knew it. Uh, after this game, they beat us here, and uh, it's a hard-fought game. Uh, but after this game, they were 10-5-2 and two in their last 17 games. They're playing as good as any team in our league. And we knew it coming in that, that they were playing this well. And, and so uh, anything we got, we were going to have to earn. Certainly by them being us last year in the playoffs, we had a great deal of respect for Bowling Green and, and how well they're coached. We uh, saw the Kyle bonus goal here in the first period, and then... Uh, had some chances uh, later on and just never could uh, put another one in the back of the net. We really needed to. We we kind of milked the one goal lead down to about a minute and a half to go when they tied it and then they beat us in overtime. But you can see we had plenty of chances and I think coming out of this game, you can kind of see it in, in the highlights here. I mean, they scored this goal late just through effort right around our net. and. I, I thought we had controlled 190 feet of the 200 feet of rink, but the five feet in front of both nets, I thought that they were the better team and, and they played, uh, you were more ferocious around the front uh, net front. So going into the second night, that was kind of our mantra. We, we wanted to own the front of both nets and, uh, it, you know, it's interesting. We outshot them fairly handily on Friday night and lost. On the second night, they outshoot us. But I think the quality of the chances and the effort in front of both goals on Saturday night was superior for us. Uh, before we get to the highlights of Saturday's game here, uh, talk about the, the crowd support on Saturday night, a sellout well in advance and a nationally televised game on Fox Sports. And just uh, talk about that impact that the crowd had on the game. Well, they had a big impact on the game. And not only that, senior night. And so, boy, you'd really like to see a nice crowd for senior night. The fact that it was televised nationally, that we did come away with a win. We had a great crowd there. I think, one, it really helps to sell our program and university when people see the vibrance of our students and, and the community. Uh, but certainly, uh, uh, you know, as, as a team, we were pretty down after getting defeated in overtime on Friday night. 
and you really, uh, on a night like that, when the crowd comes out, what a difference it makes in your team. As we go to the highlights, uh, we talk about the great crowd and certainly a good start for the Bulldogs. You get the opening goal, uh, Justin Buzio, we'll see him uh, with, the, with the opening goal of the game and a nice start for the Bulldogs. It was, and you know, Justin Buzio had a really good game here. This is a great finish. The night before, uh, Kyle Bonus had free breakaways. He went to the glove side quite a bit. It was good to see. Uh, we had talked about it, just trying to shoot blocker side on this goaltender. But Buzio scores that goal. He ends up getting an assist on the game winner. You know, for him, he's playing really well. What we need him to do now is just straighten up the defensive part of his game. And, and he that'll come. That'll come with time. But, uh, you know, overall, you could see uh, Kyle Bonus did score on that breakaway, and, and he did go blocker side. So he kind of learned from the night before as well. That gave you a 2-1 to one lead. Then Corey Kane with the goal uh, gives the Bulldogs a 3-1 to one advantage. But then we see Bowling Green battle back again. Yeah, no surprise here at all. I mean, it, we, we don't want to see them come back, and, and certainly we're going to do everything we can to try to keep that from happening, but yeah, we knew they weren't going to go away either. I mean, they've got a lot to fight for. They're looking for a, a first-round home ice, and here's the, the game-winning goal right here. Just a great play, and that's intentionally shot wide for the tip right there. Uh, you know, some people might be watching, thinking, not realizing it, but Buzzio made a great feed on that play, and I thought Garrett Thompson did a really good job of getting himself open on the side the net and kind of getting lost out there, if you will, uh, and and that's a hard tip on your backhand. So that was a good skill play by uh, by Garrett. Four to three lead going into the third, and talk about the the focus going into the third period, and not allowing uh, Bowling Green to come back and get that tying goal. Well, I gotta be honest, going in with with a minute and a half, I think there was probably three straight faceoffs on our end, and you can't help but have the night before in the back of your mind. I mean, it's it's impossible not to. So for us, it was almost good that we won in, in, in an identical way that we got beat the night before. In other words, we had the one goal lead, we had it late, we played great defense, and instead of being weak in front of our net, we were really strong. And uh, you know, Travis White, I think, probably played the last four minutes of that game, and what a great job he did to help preserve the victory. What does it mean uh, to win that final uh, game, not only in the CCHA, but also uh, to send your seniors out, at least in the regular season, with a win at home? Well, that, that game, that win there meant a lot, and a lot of for a lot of different reasons. First, senior night, you can't have a good senior night unless you win. It's impossible. So that allowed the seniors to go out on a winning note, so that was important. National televised crowd, obviously, that's extremely important for us in terms of recruiting. Um, we've been very good lately on, on the televised game, so it's good to see that streak continue. And then uh, finally, the, the points are so much needed right now. It just the uh, er, everything in terms of standings right now is so tight. And you know, I still think we can finish as high as third place. Uh, and I, I don't think we can slip any lower than sixth. So we're starting to see where we can go. But each one of those positions uh, is, is a big deal to us and represents uh, a little bit more of an advantage come playoff time. Bulldogs will be on the road uh, final weekend of the CCHA in the regular season at Michigan at Yost Ice Arena, March 1st and 2nd. And uh, what's the what's the focus uh, going into that series, and what will it take to pull out a, a couple wins at Yost Ice Arena? Well, I, I, uh, first of all, I think this week what we'll do is uh, we want to really back off the kids and give them some time to catch up in the classroom and and to heal up and get away from the rink a little bit and kind of refocus and re-energize themselves. But then starting next week, you know, the focus for us we've got to be better defensively. I would like to obviously continue to work on our special teams. Our penalty kill was outstanding last weekend. We didn't give up a power play goal. We did score one power play goal, which ended up being the game winner. And as you move into this part of the season, the importance of specialty teams is magnified. Well, Coach, best of luck to the Bulldogs. Enjoy the week off and uh, get ready to take on Michigan next week. Will do. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.